Hey, let me tell you, that Kevin Hart shit. I hate part of everyday struggle fans, man, because they be believing these narratives and shit. I really do. They hear something. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you, Joe. And by the way, again, I be I gotta preface this. I have no problems with Joe. Joe is a very cool guy off camera. Like we we could get into a very heated debate on camera. That's why the show is great. I gotta let y'all know. But if I had a problem with him off camera, I'd be blasting him now. But nah, you know what I mean? Like we're at a very comfortable place. Remember, I, in the first couple weeks, I feel like I wasn't getting my peace out. Now I'm getting my peace out. There's a dynamic to it. However you think of it, that's what's bringing people in. It's cool. Off camera, very cool guy. Um, he has a way how he says shit. Like, he could even say some shit joking. Niggas just believe it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That nigga compared Cash Me Outside Girl today to Kodak Black. And the way he's, the way he says it with, like, authority, a lot of niggas is believing it. Like, come on, you can't compare Cash Me Outside Girl to Kodak Black. Come on, man. Like, that's disrespectful. Real disrespectful. But, you know what I mean? It's, sometimes it's all about, like, you're delivering. Uh, what was I going to say with that? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so sometimes, you know, like, we talk about Kevin Hart and shit like that. I, that's the funny shit. I be seeing, like, these corny niggas in the comment section. How academics gonna be talking about this? He's a virgin. All right, nigga. <laughs> Y'all still believe in that joke from week one? Thank you. I actually appreciate it. The thoughts are rolling in the, in the, in the DMs. Thank you. But whatever. Anyway, when it comes to Kevin Hart, you know what I mean? I fuck with Kevin Hart. I just always told y'all, like, like phony niggas. And uh, I, I guess he is kind of phony. Anytime you see these niggas start going out, showing their relationship nigga, off. Man, come on, respect you. Regular ass nigga, what up, bro? My fucking name. You got a message. I'm about to read that on, man. Thank you. No more. Hey, but anytime these niggas start getting on. You see that interview that you did on Breakfast Club was just so egregious. Because. This is what women buy into. They be eating it up. Like if you wanna, if you wanna have a chick eating from your fucking palm, you sell them a fucking dream. And that's the only. That's one of the only problems I have with women because they don't accept reality. They always want that ideal shit. You know what I mean? They they want that shit. That, like you know what I mean? You give them the reality. Like yo, yeah. You know what I mean? I fuck up sometimes, but I'm human. Like you know what I mean? Blah blah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've cheated before and blah blah, but. I, I ain't on that right now. I'm like, they don't even want to hear that. They want to hear like some real lovey dovey shit. So when 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 Kevin Hart got on the Breakfast Club and he was talking like, "Yo, that's my rib," man. all that bullshit, bitches were eating that shit up. Like, yo, that's yeah. The chick told me like, yo, that's how I want a man to talk about me. He called his wife his rib. Man, y'all see the tape? If y'all ain't see the tape, man, shout out to Famous. I was watching the tape. That nigga, yo. That nigga, yo, that nigga Kevin Hart was clapping them cheeks. That nigga was doing a threesome. That nigga was clapping them cheeks raw as a motherfucker like his life was on the line. Nigga was piping these bitches out viciously, aggressively. That nigga was piping these hoes out like he ain't get pussy in months. That's the same nigga that these bitches was really eating from his palm talking about. He's a great guy. Yo, this is how I know. This is why you, and by the way, to my niggas who hard on thoughts, you might have to sell these chicks a dream. We were having a good conversation in the office. I won't even tell y'all who, like, y'all would know the people who are involved with some, some women. But I won't mention their names because I don't want to divulge what they have said. But I always say that, I, no, what I said, I was like, yo, I hate when chicks hit dudes with the line. You know you ever try to get a girl? And then afterwards, like, like. You told her that y'all could be together. You wanna, you wanna settle down. You wanna be with her. You looking to get wifed up, right? She believes you, so she lets you fuck. Now, after she lets you fuck, you knew all that shit was a lie. You sold her a fucking dream. Now you're out. You know what she gonna hit you with? If all you want was pussy, why can't you be a real man and just say that? I would have respected you more. I hate when women say that shit. If all you want is pussy, just say, shut the fuck up. If a nigga tell you all he want is pussy, you're not going to give him. The nigga got to lie to you. You feel me? So that's that's why, like, I know a nigga, like, the way how Kevin Hart put this shit down 
with the whole his rib shit. And the nigga gonna say some bullshit like, he, nigga says, I'm 36, I outgrown cheating. And these chicks were eating that shit up, yo. They're like, oh, he's mature, he's past that, he's not a boy no more. Fuck out of here. That nigga Kevin Hart was fucking all these hoes. That's just how it is. And the thing is, yo, these chicks be so unrealistic. They be, they, they, like, even when they see a nigga who's supposed... Yo, all these niggas is cheap. Even when they see a nigga who they thought was faithful. And I don't know if all the women thought he was faithful because he was unfaithful to his last wife, right? But even when they see that, they still be like, oh, th there's still hope. Fuck out of here, man. No hope. All these niggas is running through these bitches, bruh. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, you're right, though. Black men do not cheat. Black men don't cheat. I, I like that line. It don't happen. But I'm telling you, a lot of women, they eat that shit up. And when they saw this shit, they were so disgusted. And then the worst part about it, this is another hip hypocritical thing, in my opinion. I see a lot of them getting that, um, what's, what's her name, Inichi? No, Iniko, I'm sorry. That's his wife. She's pregnant. And I feel bad for her, but see a lot of them getting at her like, yo, it's karma, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't even think she had nothing to do with it. Like, yo, Kevin Hart, this is a nigga who love fucking bitches. Like, I don't even know why he get married. Like, you could tell. Yo, if you watch the tape, I don't know if y'all watch the tape. Kevin Hart been fucking bitches for a minute. You could tell. That marriage shit don't mean nothing to him. That nigga is running through these hoes. That nigga is running through these hoes to the point. Like, that nigga pipe these hoes out. Walking around butt ass naked. Sleeping with them. FaceTiming with their friends while he naked. That nigga was wildin'. And this is what I always say about situations like this. And like, uh, like even Usher shit. You see either everybody get quiet or everybody act like it's just him. Niggas just ain't get caught. You know what I mean? Like, yo, I, I was having a conversation today and these chicks were swearing. They were like, yo, they were like, at least, at least we know that like J. Cole and Kendrick don't cheat. How the fuck you know that J. Cole and Kendrick don't do the same? You see, I be buying to this perception shit. You feel me? It's easy. Yo, women are easily fooled, yo. Just don't do your dirt and don't do your dirt in public. Don't talk too like kind of wild. They buy this shit like you a good guy. Like a man really is only as faithful as his options. And I ain't gonna say every man, but a lot of dudes. But these chicks they be really believing this shit. Oh, this is a good guy. Shut the fuck up. That's why when they begin. That's why when niggas be cheating, you gotta come to the game. <laughs> Y'all niggas know it. <laughs> Y'all chat niggas on it too. I can tell. Hey man. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, man. Yo, everybody gonna look at Kevin Hart like he the only one, man. Most of these niggas getting down like that. The only thing is, I ain't gonna lie. Them hoes was out of pocket, and. This is what I was saying for the game plan for the hoes. I know Kevin Hart made like eighty-four million last year. It was like ninety-something million. You can't ask that nigga for ten million. I don't care where you could have the video. You could have a GoPro strapped to my dick. You could catch me in the act. You, bitch, I ain't paying you no ten million dollars. Get the fuck out of here. First of all, in the game, you know what I mean. I hope I'm not being disrespectful. But Aniko ain't leaving. Man, I'm not paying you ten million. The most you can get is twenty five thousand. Now that's that's the only thing you can get. I don't even know why she asked for ten million dollars. Bitches thought she was gonna get ten million dollars over that nigga getting some pussy. Shut your stupid ass up, man. Hell, ten milli. Pfft. Yo, ten. Yo, you look. You they lucky that Kevin Hart a good guy for ten million dollars. If that was a ruthless nigga, man. That nigga pay a million and get that get both of them chicks clapped. Like fuck out of here, man. Ain't nobody cutting you no ten million dollar check over no cheating shit. Plus, if you seen the video, them bitches really had that video shit in, in um final cut. Like they had hella like they had hella copies of that shit. Yeah, exactly. Yo, ten million dollars is not happening, yo. It ain't even happen. Yo, y'all gotta learn from Usher. 
Usher paid out like $2 million for his herpes joint, and they still put that nigga on blast. <laughs> Yo, the aim, to the, the aim to the game is don't pay shit. Now, don't get don't get me wrong. And by the way, yo, yo, I hate all these little equal opportunity hoes. You know, you know, I, I commented today. I threw, up, I, th I think I threw up one of their pictures. I was like, yeah, this is a thought in question. You got a bunch of like least feminist bitches. Ain't he a thought too? Yes, Kevin Hart's a fucking thought. Yeah, you're right. But we ain't talking about him right now. We know he a thought. Let's talk about this motherfucking thought right here. Um, them chicks would have got their money anyway just off doing interviews though. So, I mean. If I'm them, I wouldn't do the extortion shit. I would try to finesse some shit. And then just, just start selling interviews. It is what it is. There's no such thing as male thoughts. There's no stigma with it. You're right. The most you can get is a dollar. Yeah, I mean... With all said and done, man... Kevin and I are going to be... Kevin going to be all right, man. If I'm Kevin, I'm thinking like, yo, the only thing is that his kid, when the kid grows up, this will forever be ingrained on the internet. Like, yo, when you were in the belly, daddy was cheating. That's fucked up. Really fucked up. Might even fuck a kid up in the head because that kid might even grow to think that, yo, he ain't really want me because he couldn't even take care of mommy. Then, like, this nigga is fucking all these bitches. But I, I personally don't think that, uh, his wife is going anywhere. They're going to have a definitely a rough period if they didn't have that already. You know what I mean? Like, we're just now hearing about it when it's going public. She might have knew this months ago. You feel me? So she might have been got over it. She's just getting the, the embarrassment or public embarrassment part of it. So, you know what I mean? They'll work it out. But Kevin Hart definitely did the right thing. Never pay the thoughts. $10 million? These bitches out of, these bitches out of they, they fucking mind? Um. Yeah, yeah, Twitter got a video, man. She might be allowing it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Kevin was raped while on top. All right, yeah, y'all doing too much. The kid growing up rich. Uh, how you let a man shorter than you cheat on you? Stop it, bro. Yo, the type of money Kevin Hart got... Yo, oh, this is another one of those. Yo, you know what you, you know what's a council I love reading? I love the shade room. I love the shade room, yo. Salute to Angie, I believe she she's the founder of the shade room. Um, I love Ball Alert too. I have, and of course, I know I fuck with Fameless. I love reading those blogs because they're women centric blogs. So when they post some shit like that, you see all the salty hoes that be saying some dumb shit. Kevin Hart wouldn't have got her. He ugly as hell. These bitches be dealing with non-reality. Kevin Hart is ugly for a broke nigga. He's rich. He can't change that. You feel me? Just like he can't change the color of his skin. He can't. He's just rich. You know what I mean? Like, these bitches be saying some dumb shit like, he wouldn't get her if he, he didn't have money. He got money. Like, what do you want him to do? Like, find a chick that wouldn't want him, that would want him without the money? No, he got money. Like, he can't change that. Nigga got too much money. Nigga look good to every bitch. That nigga rock. Yeah, them chicks be hella salty on there. Anytime a ugly nigga with money bag, bag a bad chick, they be so salty, yo. His dusty ass wouldn't get her if he was broke. These bitches, man. <laughs> Somebody says, sadly, academics, you're broke and ugly. You're right. I am very broke and very ugly. Thank you. So I said, chill on the shade. No, I love the shade room. I love reading their followers' delusionality. I love it. <laughs> By the way, none of the bitches that Kevin Hart was fucking was black. I just got to say that. Um, I am definitely not rich. What kind of car I drive? A Mazda, nigga. Mazda 3. <laughs> man, I'm broke. I ain't gonna lie. I lo hey, hey, let me tell y'all this, man. When niggas be putting these narratives on me, I be just owning them. Nigga, I've been broke, and I'm gonna stay broke forever. You feel me? 
Uh, da, da, da. I drive an Audi. I know not what you talk about. I don't know what's. I drive a Mazda three, with tents all around. I live in my mama's basement, broke as shit. I couldn't afford two K. Two K had to give me the game for free. I like that. A house tour. I ain't got no house. I live in the basement. 